Okay, I apologize. I tried five different times to do a live show this evening, and um, I kept having audio problems. Um, it's, I seemed to have worked it out, and it and it went smooth for about 20, 30 minutes. And then it garbled again. So it obviously, and I hadn't touched anything else. I hadn't changed any settings. So I don't know if it has to do with the geomagnetic storm or something else. I will have to investigate it later because it is now almost 11 p.m. And I'm not even going to try to do it again. So I'm just recording this and then I will upload this and this was the part that was not garbled in what I was trying to do earlier. Any animals running crazy today or yesterday? But you know the geomagnetic storms mess up their uh, natural homing system. Okay, it's not. Yes, it will. I don't think it's garbage now. Well, show me. Are you still with me? Do we have another delay going on from the store? Are you still with me? And then it's we coming. have another delay on the storm. All right, let me see if I can skip that part. I hope you can still with me. Okay, I think I skipped it. Yeah, I was just talking about um, seeing G3s, G4s, and G5s this year. And um, last week, and we've had uh, two days of them now, and I haven't been back to check the site lately to see what's going on. Maybe I could do that now. Let me see. Um. No, nope, I was scared. Uh, to now the National there. Weather Service, the G3 strong geomagnetic magnetic, magnetic storm warning. So we knew that was coming anyway. I mean, I showed it earlier today. Um, it looks like they took more pictures. I know they didn't, but they're using the same pictures I took today. Um. This observation was followed by a 5-1, where'd it go? Um, okay. Nothing is working right. Now my phone's not working right. But it's froze on where I was trying to read it. Which is all probably related to the GA Geo Magnetic Storm okay. Class Three CME Coronal Mass Ejection. Uh, could create problems on Earth just something it's just a bubble. Amazon power systems could experience voltage and transformer damage. Voltage corrections may be required. False alarms could be triggered on some protection devices because surface ch charring may occur on satellite components. Drag may increase on low Earth orbit satellites, forcing ground operators to issue flight corrections to fix orientation problems. Satellite GPS navigation can be affected along with 
low frequency radio communication. Radio users are taking to social media to discuss how their communications are being impacted by this event now. A geomagnetic storm as potent as this one could also produce aurora or northern lights as far south as Illinois and Oregon. Brilliant aurora will be also on display across the northern Europe and Asia, which we know. CME, coronal mass ejections, occur from time to time, but they aren't always directed at Earth, as this one appears to be. A coronal mass ejection. All right, where, where was I? Is significant is a significant release of plasma from the solar corona, often following solar flares and solar wind. These huge explosions of plasma originate from highly twisted magnetic field structures on the sun. When these explosions occur from active sunspot region on the sun, it is not uncommon to see them associated with larger solar flares. Some vast CMEs can reach the Earth in as little as 14 hours, while others may take several days. According to SWPC, the first sign of a CME hitting the Earth environment is the plasma density jump due to, due to the shock waves passage. Forecasters use what is known as a coronagraph, which blocks the extremely bright disk of the sun so they are able to determine CME size speed, direction, and density. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now that I've said all that, um, there's actually uh, nine different Companies that monitor current space weather 24 7, 365 days a year. Let's see what else. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're just entering a solar max because we've been in a solar minimum. So, like I was saying last week, because we're just entering the solar mat and there was so much activity during the solar minimum, I expect a lot of C3s and more worse C4, C5 even this year. I hope not, but... I mean, it's, it's looking like that. And if we go along with everything else in biblical prophecy, with everything that is going on worldwide, <laughs> then this just falls into place. And I'm not surprised by it. In fact, I anticipated it. And it I just expect to see things continue to get more chaotic around the world with people's behavior, with vegetation, with animals, with mammals, uh, with the sky, with the sun, with the moon, with the stars, and everything that scripture told us to be on the lookout for. Earthquakes, Tsunamis, volcanoes, wildfires, and now California is in a big drought again. So you know how bad, you can only imagine how bad the fires can be. So everyone needs to use extreme, extreme, extreme caution if they live in a low humidity state that has not seen rain in a while because any spark it takes it takes nothing <laughs> nothing to uh to a few loose ambers 
creating a large, large fire. But I was burning some leaves and branches last year, and I was just watching the wind blow a little bit, blow a few of the, the leaves that, you know, they weren't on fire anymore, but they were still red, and they'd blow them out, the, out of the fire pit onto the ground, and then I just watched the other leaves catch on fire that were on the ground just from that, that one little amber, if you will. Uh, and this was, of course, it was dry, and the leaves were dead. They weren't green. It's you know it's a little more difficult to burn a green tree in green leaves, green leaf, because they got a lot of moisture in them. That's why they're green. But anyway, I'm just talking now. To give it a little time to see if anyone comes in. So Wops Island. NASA at Wilds Island here in Virginia attempts to launch Mid-Atlantic rocket again on Wednesday. It's their fourth try. Um, I don't know if they got it off tonight or not. Let's see what the link says. They, they've been trying, but the weather conditions weren't right, so they said. And then it was a couple of airplane crashes today, and I wonder, one of them was a little plane like a Cessna flew into this bigger private passenger plane, um, right into the middle, right into the center of it. And I got to wonder if they were going by uh, their instrument panel, their GPS with their automatic pilot and or you know if he got into uh, some strong winds that he didn't know about because if the G3 was uh, affecting satellites and data then he may not have known it so anyway I wonder if that that accident today was brought on by the G3 storm Okay, NASA's attempt to launch Mid-Atlantic rocket again on Wednesday. <sighs> Excuse me. I need to take my grandson to one of the sides. He would probably... Okay, I think that was enough. Uh, so, that was, um... God bless everyone... We have lots to talk about. I miss everyone. Sorry I haven't been able to uh, do any shows. I've got uh, a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that I'm trying to work out. But I want to get back to doing shows. I obviously have to work out this audio issue and uh, time. So, that being said, I will close out now. May everyone have a blessed night and a blessed day tomorrow. And maybe I can get something going for tomorrow.